Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Z3Gs here, and as requested, we are going to be bringing you guys my audio setup, my new audio interface. Uh, it's the AT2035 Audio Technica microphone, and I'm loving it. I am loving it so much. Uh, it's probably the best microphone or any recording thing I've ever had, and I am a noob when it comes to all of this stuff, so all of you... Um, audio professionals out there don't take this video too hard to heart if I get something wrong I am brand new to all of this broadcasting stuff with these professional sounding microphones and I figured this one was gonna be the best one to go with my voice to record with to stream with on twitch upload to YouTube different things like that so don't or, I don't know bash me too much in the comments I guess I don't know I don't think anyone's really gonna care too much but um, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what setup I worked with. Uh, I got three things to order from Amazon.com. It cost me roughly 270, almost 300 dollars for the entire setup, which is fairly cheap in all honesty. I'm glad I did my research and waited to purchase some of these things because I would have ended up spending almost 350 dollars if I didn't do my research. So uh, I figured I'd save some people some money, some time and a way to explain what arm or what audio interface over there would work for the AT2035 and what worked for me because I didn't find really any videos helping people out on what exact audio interface will work or what exact arm will work for this microphone so um, let's get right into it um, this arm right here it's a very slender arm I'll, pr I'll try to um, get my webcam here in it so this arm is very 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 small it's a very small desk arm and that's what I was looking for this is for people that don't have a very spacious desk I have a very spacious desk but I only record from this side of my desk anyways so there's no point in having a massive arm or like a, a arm that reaches over unless obviously you're running out of space or you like it above but I want it right in my face so I can record and that's my personal preference, but I will link all of these down in the description so you guys can uh, purchase this one if you would like to and get my whole entire setup, I guess. Uh, it worked for me. It will work for you if you have this exact setup. So I'm going to explain kind of how it works. So this arm is great. It comes with a little XLR microphone, th or not microphone, XLR cable threaded through the metal coming out the bottom so that you don't have to do it yourself and purchase an XLR cord it comes with an XLR cord very small very easy to move around so I can move it up down and all around so it's really nice very smooth and it's about 25 bucks so we're gonna move on to the next thing which is the actual microphone itself the Audio-Technica AT2035 condenser microphone very 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 crisp. It's a very crisp mi microphone. Probably one of the best microphones I've ever had, ever, and I'm loving it. It complements my voice really well. Um, I don't have a very deep voice, but I have a, a pretty masculine voice, and it, it, I don't know, it makes my voice sound great, and that's what I love about it. It's also an XLR microphone, so if you guys want to plug this into your computer, you are going to need an audio interface that threads an XLR cord which is the big cord at the bottom here, so I'll show you guys. So you see that little silver cord at the bottom connecting to my microphone? You're going to need an audio interface that plugs into uh, this XLR microphone plug-in, and you're going to need a USB port that goes into your computer to record this. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with. Um, the audio interface that I use is the solo scarlet or the scarlet solo it's a single xlr cord plug-in to usb port interface and i'll kind of try to show you the best i can so i'm sorry for the cords being in the way and stuff but there it is it's a focus right scarlet solo and the reason where it gets its name is because it has the solo xlr plug-in to the left and that's all i need that's all i need for my setup and it does come with like a line for a guitar plugin if you play guitar but I don't I just use this for the microphone and 
if you notice back there, it has a little plugin, and that plugin threads all the way up to my computer USB port right there, and that's where I can record. So uh, I did not know this, but using an XLR microphone, you do need an audio interface such as that one. You don't have to get this one in particular, but that one was in my price range, and it does the same job as a lot of the other interfaces out there. And that one was about 100 bucks on Amazon. So combining all of this together, it's around 100 and, or not 100, <laughs> 270 bucks roughly, uh, with a little tax and shipping and stuff like that. So I rounded up to nearly 300 bucks for this whole setup. And to wrap it up, I really, really do like it. It's a very spacious setup. It's nothing too bulky, massive, especially for you guys out there at home or on the internet that are looking around for a setup that's very um, appealing to your desk, I guess. This arm's very slender, very small. I like it. it. It fits my personal recording preference. Some people may like the arms that go over. Some people may like the stands that you just sit on the desk, but... Uh, this is my personal setup, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I tried to make it as quick as possible. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, I'm not an audio recording professional or anything like that, so if I get something wrong or I don't know the qu answer to your question exactly, um, I apologize, but I'll do the best I can. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it did help. Thumbs up if it did help you. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are interested in a recording setup like this or if you already have one. I would really be interested to see what kind of um, setups you guys are working with. So let me know if this video helped out at all. Um, I'm trying to help out people that had the same issue as me looking for a microphone, a stand, and then an interface that works all together in progression with your computer, how to record it, different things like that. So I tried my best in this video. I hope you guys do like it. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and you want to see videos similar to this one. So as always, it has been your boy Izzy3Gs and Brent's friends. We will see you guys later. Peace out.